What's going down, Clicks? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we are in the Clutch. Hey, this is a uh, hey. Hey, a very, hey. very exciting video we're about to react hey. to. There's a reason why we are excited about this video because this was the game up. where the Texans got that motherfucking dub. They man. counted us out. Counted us they out, didn't man. Didn't think we would make it. Yeah, they man. Didn't think we would pass it. They didn't think we were winning overtime. Mm-hmm. But mother Deshaun mm-hmm. Watson, mm-hmm. J. White, mm-hmm. DeAndre Hopkins got the motherfucking dub. Yes, sir. So we had to skip the last two weeks. Cause come on, man, y'all y'all want us to get into the playoffs? Come on, man, come on, stall yeah. us out, man, yeah, stall us on, out man. just a little bit. You feel me? Just a little bit, Paquito. You feel me? <laughs> um, you know your yes, Spanish. Yes, we had to. You know, nigga been duolingoing. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, we had to skip the other ones in order to get to these. We definitely gotta watch the one with the Cowboys. Yeah, I feel like that one would be hilarious. And yeah, the one with the Patriots losing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We so, we gotta check that out. So let's get right into it. Make Try sure you not like, to laugh. Comment, subscribe. We will not laugh. We will not laugh. Woo! We will not laugh. We just gonna be too excited because it's the motherfucking Texans, man. We're gonna be living this thing. We coming for you, Kansas City. We coming, coming for you, for- nigga. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally that time. It's postseason football. And welcome back to Hold My Nugget mm. Studios for game one of your mm. 2019 wild card weekend. Game highlight mm. commentary live from NRG Stadium live. as the Houston Texans host the Buffalo Bills in our first game of the 2019 NFL sick, playoffs. Yeah. It may have been played in 2020. Still, yeah. when Josh Allen went back to the huddle, I heard him say, White man runs a football. Meanwhile, in Buffalo Wild Wings, we have quite the special today. The Billy special, that is, as John Brown would throw the ball nice to Josh Allen, no, would nice go into play. the end zone for a Bills touchdown, and they take a 7 0 mm-hmm. lead. Time to celebrate and lose some chromosomes. Words cannot explain how much I hate John Brown's touchdown dance, and the fact that it's influencing his teammates is ridiculous. He looks like a quadriplegic who just got arms and legs, but mm-hmm. they put the legs part the arms supposed to be in the arms where the legs supposed to be. Or, matter of fact, you could say he looks like a cockroach. When you flip it upside down Since allegedly we're on the brink of World War 3 Why don't we hand the football to the man who kicked off World War 1 As Archduke Franz Ferdinand Johnson would carry it for a first down Second and six But the Bills out here participating in the Brock Lesnar challenge Versus Zach Gowan As they'd say give me them legs And took him down for a sack You know Josh Allen's favorite pastry Apple to- oh, That, that should have been a pick six bro. There's so many should have been happened to his this man must have been boycotting McDonald's. How the hell do you drop that pick six? Give me your ankle, Woo! stupid. Watson would take the snap on third and four. He'd connect with Fells, who would now turn into my bank account as he's in Bill's territory. And Buffalo lose? would find a way to take all of his money as he'd attempt to escape the pass rush, but... Come here. Take your dinner, SpongeBob. His foot got caught up in some quicksand. They They'd be forced to my run leg. back the other way comes Buffalo Wild Wings. Hand off to Devin. I'm not in a relationship. I'm Singletary for a big game. Too. And then a yeah, few yeah. plays later, the two kids who love to dance on the short bus would connect as Josh Allen would connect wow. with John Brown and they're now in Texans territory. And for some apparent reason, Josh Allen would transmogrify into any quarterback in the early Madden game. He'd find butterfingers whenever he tries to dive. He'd fumble on a play picked up by Whitney Merciless and return into Mercy. Bill's territory. But wait a minute. Yeah, it was down. all again. Josh Allen got that knee down. The Bills would maintain possession, but I'll tell you who didn't get something down. John Brown, whose application to the 10 toes down challenge was absolutely denied. Do not apply to the 10 toes down challenge if you can't mm. even get five and bounce, you hooligan. No. Stephen no, Houska would connect right from 40 yards out and give the Buffalo Bills a 10-0 lead. Deshaun Watson really out here looking like a social kid with no friends because he's got nowhere to go with the football. Mm-hmm. He'd be sacked. 
Now, I know what you're thinking. He got back to the line of scrimmage, so that's not going to count as a sack. Fair enough. That's exactly what the Bills said. So he said, we're going to get you again, stupid. Now, Watson got move. less protection than Phillip Rivers' wife, Philopia, yeah, too. He had no protection, Both teams really. would exchange punts, and just before the first half, the Bills looked to add to their total as they begin to march down the field. Then at the two-minute warning, Josh Allen would put the sliced raw cabbage with the mayonnaise and the mixed vegetables as he'd head to Coleslaw Beasley, who'd carry it into Texans Ooh. territory. Singletary yeah. would head to Future City. He'd take on yeah. Koga. The Texans in the form of Koga would use TM32 double team, but somehow the evasiveness they, of Singletary would increase. Be doing that and that set up yet another 40-yard field goal for Stephen Houston. He can do the upright like hits. Good 13-0 lead at halftime. 30 more minutes to go, coach. You're up 13-0. No way you guys gonna blow it, right? Weed into oh, the second did. half. Houston back to receive the kick as they would try to erase a 13-0 deficit as they throw the ball to the official. Wait a minute. It turns out the official moved the hell out the way and said, you better take a knee. I ain't touching that football. It'd be recovered by the Buffalo Bills in the end zone for the score. But the referees, after further deliberation, said, hey, man, we put our money on Houston. Let's give him the football back. After further review, it turns out he actually tried to give up himself. So it's going to be Houston football at the 25. Houston surely dodged a bullet there. Yeah, Deshaun Watson takes the snap cool, running towards his right. There's nothing he can do. Josh Allen out here making executive decisions. He just said, fuck the receivers. I'm going to take off running my dog on self and carries it into Houston territory. But on third and three, Singletary would fail to get out of the backfield. Ensuing drive, DeAndre Hopkins would finally get his first catch on the day, but he's also got the big, big butterfingers. Fumbles on the play. It's recovered by Buffalo. Jadavious White really out here making DeAndre Hopkins look like he's bald. He hasn't activated his dreadlock powers at all today. Man turned him trans in one position and took his balls. Civil War veteran Ageless Wonder. Frank Gore would get the carry. Wow. He'd pick up a first down for Buffalo and carry it to the 15. Houston would mm. finally unleash their Pokemon. Right, you. Use Volt Tackle. 99 watts. You want another one? Come at me, bro. Mm -hmm. Steven Hauska from 38 yards kicks it through the upright 16-0 lead for we Buffalo. That. That's a great 16-point lead you got there, coach. It'd be a shame if somebody blew it. DeAndre Hopkins, tired of being trans, says, give me back my ball as he'd catch it in Bill's territory and finally make a play on Tredavious White. And now that he has his balls, he'd like to expose his nutsack as he'd move the chains once again on Tredavious White. And I don't rolling. know how many times I gotta ball. say it because the Bills were able to stop Sherlock Holmes, but they had no answer for Watson as he'd carry two Bills Let's into go. the end zone yeah. for the score. And then they'd gather both teams around. They'd take out their mm, Uno cards and they coach. would tell the Bills, two for your mistakes as he'd cut the deficit to eight Let's points. Go. It's now a one score game hey coach you're still up by eight you control damn near this entire game there's no way you oh guys gonna blow this lead right quick trivia what does josh allen and boys going through puberty have in common he's dropping balls as he fumbled mm. on the play it's recovered by houston that was Good Lord, that man that got was absolutely tattooed. definitely it's houston needed. ball but look at the houston tackle again <laughs> Houston on the move. Maya Angelou's favorite football player, Kenny Stills, our rise, would move the chains. Deshaun Watson's pocket is breaking down. He's on the move. Well, we know how this one ends. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Now get your bitch ass on the floor. Fairbear would connect from 41 yards out, cut the Fairbairn Texas deficit to five. Yeah. Still up by five, coach. Still up by five. No way you guys could blow this game, right? Third down, once again for the Bills. They nearly let Raichu get to him again as J.J. Watt just misses out on the strip sack. You magnificent son of a bitch. Hey, Ronicles 3 versus 12. Everybody's afraid of this impending World War III non-existent draft. Trusting a power with dreadlocks, you'll come alive in the second half. I fear God, homie. I'm pro-black. I ain't afraid of nothing white. My neck. Third and three, Watson takes the snap, looking over the middle. He's got Fells, who'd carry it to the one-yard line. Houston's in business, and it's out. time for a child's Let's game. Go. Carlos, hide and seek. That pissed me off. Yeah, bro. That like, made that me like, mad. This man would have probably walked in for a touchdown, and he can't corral the goddamn football. I ought to put him down to death note for his failures of using his hands. Matter of fact, Carlos Hyde for your... Oh, wow, he went to the end zone. He made up for it on the very next play. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, Houston too. takes the lead. Only the reason note. why he's celebrating is because the hitmen just put down their guns. They was getting ready to shoot him in the end zone. Had the Texans not scored a touchdown here, Carlos would have been hiding in the afterlife. And there's no more white power for Travis Woo! because DeAndre Hopkins 
Hopkins would tell him to for your mistakes, coach. Y'all blew a 16-0 lead, and now you're down by three. But there's still time. No way you guys going to blow this game, right? On the ensuing drive, first play, Josh Allen rolling right, throws it back towards his left. He's got Devin Singletary. More blockers than transgender medication. More blocks than a game of Jenga. Carries it into Texans territory. Too, oh, give so me the ball. I'll Jenga get a first down. Yeah, come here. <laughs> Damn near killed that old man. Josh Allen on third and 13. Woo! Holy shit! Pass would sail incomplete, but there's some laundry on the field just, because yeah. this would be ruled intentional grounding. Mm -hmm. Woo, woo! Come clitoris on, alert, clitoris alert. Woo, woo! Clitoris alert, clitoris alert. Woo, woo, woo! Following the intentional grounding, the Bills would go for it on fourth and 27, and Josh Allen would take a 15-plus yard sack. What kind of coaching is this? Coach, you have three timeouts. Why the hell why would you go that, forward on 4th and 27 and give know. them the football back at damn near midfield? And now after the sack, they're in your territory, you big dummy. That's not that how coaching. you coach mm -hmm. football, you stupid idiot. You've already blown a 16-point lead, and now you're participating in the Plaxico Burris Challenge, and you're shooting uh. yourself in the foot. McDermott, put your motherfucking head back down. And Josh Allen, you're the nincompoop who took the sack. Put your motherfucking head back down too, stupid. In an attempt to end the game right here, Houston would elect to go for it on 4th and 1 rather than kick a 48-yard field goal. But they're participating in the Frank Costanza challenge. Granted, we I don't probably would have kicked the field goal, goal but either, I understand so. what Bill O'Brien was trying to do, so I'm not going to tell him to put his motherfucking head back down. But Josh Allen on this play would carry Bro, it into Texans territory, he and he thinks up. it's the last play of the game. He throw a lateral backwards. What is this man doing? This man single-handedly trying to give the game away. What the hell's the matter with him? Third and ten, it he appears was, that bro. both players from the short bus would connect once again as Josh Allen would find John Brown now in Texans territory. And we'd like that slice raw cabbage once again. Coleslaw Beasley puts them inside the 30. That sets up Steven Houska for 47 yards out. Kicks it through the uprights, and we're going to overtime. Coach, you got another chance. You got another chance. You blew that 16-point lead, but hey, you're going to OT. No ways you guys could blow that, right? No way Into all, sudden right? death overtime we go. Deshaun Watson flees towards his left. He's got fells wide open. That pissed me off too. I bro. was mad, bro. I was so high. I was so mad, bro. Oh my This man's God. hands really are still on the Christmas tree. His hands are just for decoration. Yeah, bro. Fells is going to the sideline asking himself, What happened to my hands? Ensuing drive, next score wins, ladies and gentlemen. Man, Third yeah, and 12. Josh cool. Allen looking towards his right. He's Hardest got knocks. Ever. Get me your ankles as he's able to pick up a crucial third down conversion. But three plays later, yet another third down situation. Josh Allen trying to use his legs. He turned into Mario. <laughs> That would fail, and there's also laundry on the mm -hmm. field with an illegal oh, blindside block. Now this, this right here is a load of malarkey. Ladies and gentlemen, if this is considered a blindside block, we are not playing football. Next Texans yeah. possession. Oh shit. Here we, here go, we again. go again. Oh my God. No blocking, bro. Oh, and on third and 18, Archduke Ferdinand Johnson, unlike R. Kelly, would see the significance of the number 18. Him. And he'd pick up exactly and 18, 18 and move the chains. Time to take some Cialis, because even after the ejaculation, Kenny Stills, I rise, moving mm -hmm. the chains. Second and six, Watson takes the uh, snap. Uh, Beyblade, uh, uh, let it rip. He escapes the pass rush. He connects with this man. He's got a seam. He's running down the field. He's going to be tackled at the 10. How did Watson do that? Call him the son of Jor-El, that's Superman. He turned into a hit right. on top. He used rapid Ooh. spin. Deshaun Watson says, I'm financially free. I don't give a shit about no bills. And escapes the pass rush, Ooh. moving the ball into field goal range. Kylie Fabre from 28 yards out, kicks it through the uprights. It's good. And the Houston Texans overcome a 16-point deficit to move on to the divisional round and to play the Kansas City Chiefs.
coach. You were up 16-0. Had an opportunity in overtime. And you still found a way to blow the game as if your name was the Atlanta Falcons. Sean McDermott, put your motherfucking head back down for the Buffalo Bills. Take out your Metro cars. Mm -hmm. And to get aboard the L train. But your ride will be short-lived because you've Very arrived much. at Elimination Station the for the mm-hmm. second time in the past three years. Failures, 10 fans out of the wild card round. Bills Mafia throwing themselves off of tables, lighting themselves on fire, because the only place they're going is not the divisional round. They're going somewhere different for your failures of holding on to your 16-0 lead. So you your failures of taking fire, advantage bro. of having the football he was laying in overtime. Down. Your failures of advancing to the next round. Consider your names. Oh, Read dude down didn't know he was on Because fire, your dreams of making it back to the like... Super Bowl for the fifth time. Your dreams of finally hoisting your very Oh first God, Lombardi right. trophy oh has been absolutely deleted. Good game, though, man. Mm. There's only one thing left to do. Oh I gotta write God. their names in the death note. Oh, my God. Delete. 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 That nigga didn't know he was on fire. Bro, that was funny. I think that's the funniest thing you ever heard. He's just sitting there. He's like. Oh, man. Hey, y'all know what it is. Shout out to Chisel Adonis. The Texans. Always, man. Look at that thing, man. Oh my god. Why aren't you following oh, me? Why haven't you subscribed? Oh, that's lit. Nah, hey man. Shout out to the Texas man. Shout out to the whole squad, man. Yeah. Went far hard. I was mad the whole time. Um cut the game off. Whole nine yards. But y'all came through. Deshaun Watson made a play out of nothing. Yep. And, um, y'all did y'all thing, man. Y'all made me made made all of houston proud man so <laughs> shout out to the texans now we gotta gotta go to kansas city take care of some business man we yes, got to we bro we this this is an important game this will be if we can win this game this will be our very first trip to the afc championship yes sir so, hey man y'all know what y'all gotta do y'all gotta y'all gotta go y'all out gotta there and go play handle business man go, go handle, handle business. up go handle up man For go sure. do your thing y'all supposed to be there don't let nobody tell you otherwise yeah i know people are counting us out of um, course like it's just people just want to do that because they know what's up they know once houston win that's raps it's raps we beat. gonna never let that shit down we not the cowboys though mm-hmm. but we ain't gonna never let it down but uh if y'all like the video man comment down below which part made you fail if you failed mm-hmm. uh, just give us some congratulations we shouldn't be seeing nothing but love mm-hmm. uh, you know go ahead and root for your boys go ahead and send some prayers mm-hmm. so that way we can you know get through this weekend this Sunday with ease and um yeah that's it go Texans you already know what it is already but Paul Nanos shout out to Chisel Adonis for sure I know what it is we in the clutch baby already it uh, everything lit everything lit the bitch better take a shot, she better not spit The back will lit, the money we get If you on the clown shit, but she know that we it Ooh.